Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. Today we got a little project to get into. If you got a farm, you got problems. Chores are gonna show up whether you want them or not. If you got any amount of land at all with trees on it, then you probably run into this. There be the problem. That limb is not supposed to be laying on the ground. But the problem is it's very much connected to the tree. Now, if we called in a professional tree company to cut these limbs every time we had something like this happen, we would go broke. Now, back in the early days of the pretend farm, this was our chainsaw. This battery-powered Milwaukee Sawzall has cut many a tree down, and it was never intended to do that. You go through a lot of batteries, takes a lot of time. Honestly, it's probably not even good for this thing because it would get pretty hot during those tasks. A couple years ago, we purchased this steel 250 chainsaw and boy, has this been a blessing. Unlike the 271 Farm Boss, this comes with a lighter weight and a lighter price tag, which makes it the perfect pretend farm saw. A real farmer would never buy a saw like this. If you're a pretend farmer, this saw is for you. It's great for small projects like we're taking on today. I'm gonna to show you how well it works. And we're gonna go about this in a safe manner so that we don't die. Let's get into it. Now, while this looks like a very basic task, the fact is this tree branch is about five or six inches in diameter, and it's probably about 20, 25 feet long. A limb like that can weigh about 150 pounds-ish. The last thing you want to do is go up to a tree limb like this and start sawing on it or tugging on it, because if that bark that's holding it to the tree snaps loose and it comes down on your head, you're going to be eating mashed taters through a straw for the rest of your life. The only safe way to cut this branch is to get it flat on the ground. Thank goodness we have this pretend chain from Harbor Freight. This is a Harbor Freight logging chain. I would never actually trust it to do real logging, but for a pretend logging project like this, it's gonna work great. I know it will. We're gonna hop on Big Grizzly here behind us and see if it's got enough oomph to tug that branch loose so that we can get it flat on the ground and have minimal risk while we're cutting it. Let's go see if Big Grizz is feeling up to the task. There, we finally got it all cleaned up. It didn't look like that much when it was hanging from the tree, did it? Kind of reminds you of the sled off the Grinch where he loads up all those presents and it's way overloaded. Most of those limbs are gonna go in a ditch and get burned, but I did save the core pieces of that branch for firewood. Not a whole lot for the amount of work that we did, but it needed to be cleaned up and we're gonna make good use of the wood that'll burn good. So like I told you to start with, that over there is probably well over a hundred pounds worth of wood 
And then on the back of the truck, we've got another solid 50 to 60 pounds at least of branches. So even though this was one hanging tree limb, never underestimate these. They're a lot heavier than they look and they can hurt you really bad, if not kill you. So this is something to be taken seriously. You never ever want to play around underneath of these hanging tree limbs. You definitely don't want to try and pull them down. We were very careful with how we crept under there and put the chain on, making sure that nothing was coming loose up above us. Uh, but once we were able to give that chain a good tug and pull that branch down off the bark that had it attached to the tree, it was flat on the ground. We do it as safely and as best as we know how. If we had called a professional to come do this, they would have probably charged us about 150 bucks to cut that limb out and take it away. We just did it for two or three bucks worth of fuel. So, big advantage. If you're not comfortable running a chainsaw, Sawzall is a whole lot safer. But anytime you're using something with a blade or a chain that spins, bad things can happen. You do the best you can to minimize the risk and life goes on. Still not done. We got to go dump the brush off the truck and neatly stack this firewood away over on our wood pile so it can dry out to be burned. So for one hanging tree limb, a good solid half an afternoon's worth of work. And this is why we can't get out and make good chicken videos, because we're so bitchy. We are so bitchy. Thanks for doing chores with us today on the Pretend Farm. Till next time, we're signing out.